Hello ladies and gentlemen, Nukem Dukem here, and welcome to Call of Jarez Gunslinger. Hopefully I said it right. Uh, special thanks to Ubisoft PR for getting this copy for me. So basically this game is, just got launched today. It's $15 on Steam, PS3, and Xbox XBLA, so it's download. And it's, it's really cheap, and so far I love this game. It's like a first person uh, Midwest shooter. Uh, there's no uh, co-op or a multiplayer aspect but there's ways you can compete with other people around the world where there's different arcade uh, styles and then you go points and then uh, it shows you your name and you can battle that way. Honestly this game doesn't need a multiplayer it'd be nice but uh, it would cost more money that way and more development time and not needed. They have you know the standard achievements. Okay I'll put in the comment section link below or on the screen if, in case you want to skip all this tutorial stuff on screen and go straight to gameplay. But here's the how to play. It explains the game. There's eight different standard weapon types uh, and it give, tells you what each of them do and what their specialty is. So they have a concentration mode where it's kind of like bullet time where you know you can dodge uh, bullets and move a little bit quicker and take enemies out and it refills by killing people. You have like a second chance called Sense of Death where, you know, if you're gonna die, yeah, it's automatic where you get a second chance to uh, redeem yourself and dodge the bullets. They have a point system where you gain points by doing certain things uh, and killing enemies certain ways and then um, you, you earn experience by that and uh, it, it goes into a skill tree. Uh, combos are how many successes kills you do in order and it can stack your points. Now this is an awesome mode, uh, dueling. It's like a, think of a typical western uh, duel where uh, you draw and shoot each other. There's two ways you can uh, attempt to do dueling. Um, you can do the honorable way where you get more points if you let the enemy draw their weapon first and then you quickly draw and shoot him before it shoots you. Or you can just kill him right away and don't let him get a chance and that's called dishonorable and you really don't get any skills or points that or bonus rewards that way. Now here's the experience where you gain XP and you, and you can use it through three different skill trees. You got Gunslinger and uh, basically it's a medium range. You got the Ranger long distance and then you got the Trapper which is close range. Now Nuggets of Truth. Uh, in story mode, uh, you can, this is kind of like the lore where you find these items and it explains more of the story about you or to you. And then uh, you know, you got those icons right there. Now the story mode. Uh, after you beat the game, the replayability, they let you go to an option called More True West, which is a greater difficulty uh, in the game. And uh, I, I think they might have bonus content, I'm not sure. Completing story mode playthrough unlocks new game options, plus mode allows you to relive the tales once more. Okay, yeah. Then you got the arcade mode, which I showed you where you kind of get to compete with people across the world of different ways to beat them. And different modes like special missions like side quest missions and then they have another uh, special mission it's called the dual challenge where you have to shoot fight 15 people in a row and you only get five lives and you know points add up so with that said uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the controls pretty simple right here uh, for mouse and keyboard uh, you can hit they have a controller as well okay so you can uh, change your key bindings if you want but they have very basic key bindings which is easy to pick up if you're a first person shooter okay and then uh, they have the tutorials if you want uh, permanent waypoints and then dual counters are on they support 10 ADP 60 FPS everything's on the highest settings English they have different subtitles and then you got the credits all right, let's go ahead and get started. So here you can do the duels where you have that challenge, the arcade, the different special mission, and then we'll go story mode. All right, we got normal, hard, and true west unlocks after you do these, uh, either these two mode or hard, I'm not sure. So let's go ahead and go.
Don't I know you, sir? Don't believe so. I haven't been here in many years. Name's Silas Greaves. Silas Greaves? The bounty hunter? Used to be. Ah, well, what are you doing here in Abilene? Just passing through. Got a little business to take care of. Well, sir, it would be an honor if you would allow me to buy you a beer. Hell, son, it would be my honor to drink it. I'm Molly. Howdy. I'm Dwight. That's Jack and Steve. Ben's behind the bar. Oh, I bet you got some great stories. A couple. <laughs> Any of them true. Jack, be nice. A few. What about your shootout with Henry Plummer's gang in Bannock, Montana? Is that where you started as a bounty hunter? That's what it says in this here dime novel. Don't believe everything you read in them dime novels, boy. First man I hunted was back when I was riding with Billy the Kid. You knew Billy the Kid? Damn right. That scrawny son of a bitch had no fear. Wouldn't back down for nobody. I heard he collected the tin stars off any crooked lawman who crossed him. It was a war, boy. The Lincoln County War. And Billy promised his regulators would take the life of every bastard who helped bushwhack John Tunstall. Kid had a big chip on his shoulder and a hair-trigger temper. Made him dangerous as hell. It was about 30 years ago. Billy was hiding out in an abandoned farm near Stinkin' Springs. I threw in with the kid because the man I had sworn vengeance on was riding with Billy's enemies. But before I tell you why I want that son of a bitch dead, let me tell you what happened that day. I was heading back to the hideout when suddenly I had this funny feeling. Funny, haha? -ha? No, Steve. The other kind of funny. Alright, looks like we can now control it. Very nice. <laughs> so, looks like we got a funny feeling we might go ahead and uh, get ambushed or whacked here. So, it looks like we had two options. We're just going to go here in the barn. Take a look around. Looks like there's anything we have to get quite yet. <laughs> Look at these uh, little cows over here. Okay, so this is where we check our uh, objective, uh, and then it tells us to return to hideout. <laughs> Excuse me. We got the scarecrow right here. <laughs> that is the worst scarecrow I ever seen. All right, is there anything on this other route? Doesn't look like it. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like I took a more visual route. Uh oh. You heard that. You need to stay here to keep an eye on the road. That's not fair. We're missing all the fun. I knew those two morons would never let me through. I had no choice. Oh, I have to kill him? Okay. This kind of remind me the graphic style is like similar to the Walking Dead cartoonish style. Um, Alright. I wonder what if I go the other way, but this looks like the correct way. Who's that? Is he with us? Alright, there we go, headshot. Alright, you're an experience by killing enemies. You need it for leveling up and getting extra abilities. Thank you. Headshots actually Was it Pat Garrett's posse? Oh yeah. I heard the shots and I knew I had to move fast. Garrett and his army of deputies had surrounded the entire homestead. Okay, narrate to all you plays. I decided to help Billy and the boys out a bit. So that's just what I did. Okay, so here's the concentration that he's showing this off to you. Oops, there we go. Getting headshots refills is quicker. Alright, here we go. Oh. As go. the governor of New Mexico was paying for the kid's apprehension, Garrett was able to hire every gun hand in Lincoln County. Oops. I should stay and cover more. 
Oh, shoot. There we go. My bad. I'm not playing this uh, correctly. <laughs> Should've stayed in cover more and take my time aiming. I, I was trying to go concentration more. Oh. Jeez, where'd you come from? Oh my gosh, I'm doing real bad, guys. My bad. Please be merciful on the comments. I know uh, I'm up to par right now. <laughs> Still getting a handle on this game. There we go. So the top left, that's your concentration and how much you have left of it, or how much you're gaining. So what's nice is the automatic ammo pickup, I like that. Yes, I am running back. There's a guy right here. Who's he shooting at? There we go. Garrett's man were running around like a bunch of chickens with their heads cut off. What I like is the narration while you're playing. Like you're telling a story and living out the story, uh, how it played out. Alright, pop out buddy. <laughs> Okay, so here's our sense of death where we have a Not chance to miss. Idea. It would be a turkey shoot from up there. Okay. Can you press A to dodge uh, left or D to dodge right? So go ahead and dodge that. So that's a sense of death, which is I love that feature in this game. I, I think it definitely is a nice uh, mechanic. Anyone else? Luckily, these shooters Garrett hired weren't the sharpest tools in the shed. The right position is very important. Personally, I prefer to be on top. Oh, you do, do you? Indeed, darling. But where was I? Oh, yeah. Okay. There you go. Alright, take that guy out. <laughs> I'm going to barn over here. Let's see if I take the other side. Alright, there we go. We just leveled up. Now we can uh, spend our skills. Okay, so what we can do is uh, rangers, long distance, or close quarters, or dual weapons, which is kind of medium. So right now, huh, I don't want to go too far distance. It's always good to go medium, I would say. Now, uh, you have to build up to get the other one. So the first one they'll let you is dual wield revolvers. Yes. There we go. Now we got dual wield, where we can actually grab this other one. If I figure out how to dual wield it. Oh, it has to be the same weapon. It might have to be the same weapon to dual wield. Anyone else? <laughs> I can imagine this being a lot harder uh, if I pick hard mode. And true west might be impossible or death. <laughs> Maybe you take one shot, you die, just like uh, almost real life. She'll teach you how to dual wield, or I think you need the same weapon. I'll let you know in a second when I figure this out. Then I heard a friendly voice yelling at me from the window. Back, Back door! door. We got we'll you cover you! Drop aiming, you idiots! Truth be told, things weren't window. much better behind the house. Watch your flank! There we go. Pick up from the side. I cut their numbers in half. But that just made the ones that were left twice as mad. <laughs> twice as mad. Alright. Oh, gosh. Hello. Alright. Oh, we'll go ahead and go down. Oh, gosh. 
Where do you hit me from? Oh, he's right here. They made up for their lack of skill with a seemingly endless supply of ammo. It was a bit of a slog, but I finally fought my way around the back of the house. Alright, nice. Alright, this is not a six shooter. Why can't I do a world? Okay, dual world mode is I click. There we go. Okay, you just had to switch. And like that, you I was inside. Dead, None the worse for wear. What's up, Billy? I passed Dirty Dave. Okay, never mind, Dirty Dave. Get him in a red in a trap. And upstairs, I found Billy and Charlie Baldry. Billy looked at me and said, About time, amigo! Grab a gun and get to the window! Wait, so you were friends with Billy the Kid? Yeah, sort of. Anyway, we were surrounded by dozens of deputized shooters who wanted to do us harm. Alright. <laughs> there we go. Oh man, this game's awesome. I'm telling you Garrett's men were dropping like flies, but they just kept on coming. Oh, before my uh, my multiplayer is out. That's when Charlie got hit. They're catching us in a crossfire! Shouted Billy. Get to the other side. Okay. Hang on. Alright, I might have to go concentration mode. Alright, anyone else? Alright. I don't know how many of those cocksuckers I personally put Gee. down, but it was pretty clear, even to Billy, that maybe discretion was the better part of Alan. What's that mean? It means that it was time to cut and run. All right. We got a gallon, Billy shouted. Get the horses and bring them around back. I'll draw their attention. Here we go. Got he directed that, that order at me. And I thought, why the hell do I have to do it? But I went anyway. Dumbass that I was back then. Dang it, Dirty Dave. Many would have fled in my place. Oh, we but I had the horses. that false sense of invincibility that many young men have. Like Jack here. What are you saying, old man? Jack is oh. Mr. Joshua. Yeah, he better be. Mr. Graves, please continue. Please, call me Silas, ma'am. Now, uh, where was I? You were heading for the barn. All right, they want us to climb up here. Gonna scalp your ass. <laughs> no scalping today, man. Right. Making my way past the castle of fallen foes. Woo! Missed this one. All right, anyone else? This game's awesome. Sounds like Garrett hired a whole regiment of hired guns. <clears throat> That's it for you. Yeah, and just when I thought I was dealing with them, more of these hapless bastards would pop up. <clears throat> Finally, I had the stables within my reach. All right, hang on, I gotta reload. <laughs> I was trying to do concentration mode while reloading, it was bad. Alright, we got new skills. Alright, looks like they force us to... Uh, oh, they can go somewhere around. So we can deep pocket, revolver capacity increase, carry even more deadly revolver bullets. Okay, what's this? 
Longer combos. Don't stop your killing frenzy so soon. Your combos meter will stay active 50% longer. Huh. You know what? I probably need more bullets. So I don't have to reload as often. Alright, let's get to the point. Oh, chickens! I'll eat you later. Wait. Aha! Uh -huh. Look at this! Secret! Well, let's get down this way. Oh man, that's too far. Okay, we go to the barn. And that's when I met Sheriff Pat Garrett. I read that you went toe to toe with him, sir. That backstabbing bastard with that tacked on tin star. You read that in a dime novel? It said he showed no fear as he took your measure with eyes like a rattlesnake. Keep uh, your enemy in focus. So this is the dual mode. You have an option to disrespect him by just shooting him before he pulls his gun and you don't get the bonus. Or you let him draw his weapon and shoot him right away. I got you. Here we go. Come on. When your opponent reaches for the gun, press to draw your weapon, aim with it, and then shoot again. Okay. Oh. And that you killed him in a fair fight. <laughs> Is that what that Penny Dreadful said? No, boy. That ain't what I meant when I said I met Pat Garrett. So let me start again. I finally reached those damn stables. Alright, this is what happened for real. <laughs> oh, wow, that is funny. Two different stories. Stepped inside, and BAM! Last thing I heard was Garrett's voice. That's not Billy. And go on. How did it end? End? Boy, that was just the beginning. Alright, so based on my review of what I played so far, I like this game. $15, not a bad idea. I had fun. There's different skills. I would give this game like an 8.5 to a close 9. Buy it. Alright, this is Nukem Nukem. I'll see you guys next level. Bye.